Good morning. This is your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Still seeing mostly cloudy skies out there right now, but we did see quite a break in some of the clouds that we were seeing this morning. Uh, but expecting a fairly quiet and nice weather day ahead before we move into some unsettled weather uh, moving into the evening time frame. A very mild day once again with uh, temperatures already into the 50s uh, right now. So if we look at the current surface analysis, we have that disturbance that we've been tracking uh, will continue to head into the region and into the northeast region. It's going to be responsible for continuing to funnel some warmer air into the area, keeping mild to uh, unseasonably warm temperatures in the area over the next couple days, as well as those precip chances that we'll see start to move in as we get into the early morning on Thursday and seeing those stick around over the next uh, till we get to about Friday into Friday morning. If we look at the upper level winds from this morning sounding, we had some southerly winds near the surface becoming more southwesterly to westerly as we go up through the column, seeing our peak wind of 46 knots at 20,000 feet. The freezing level today is at 10,500 feet. Looking at that current uh, visible satellite, we can see we're just in a hole in the clouds here in the overall region. Uh, expecting that to continue over the next couple hours, but again, expecting these clouds to build back in as we get later into the evening with those precip chances moving through. So if we look at the short-term model here to see how things play out, expecting dry conditions today, again, uh, breaks in some of the clouds, and we'll see those clouds building back in. As we get past the midnight time frame, we pick up a very slight chance of a shower swinging through, and then a better chance as we get into uh, past the 4 to 5 a.m. time frame. Uh, with some light showers again looking mainly light at this time and then as we go through the day on thursday continuing to see kind of on and off showers light showers swinging through particularly during the afternoon as you can see here and then we could see a break in the activity and then going through the overnight on uh, thursday night into friday morning uh, as that disturbance continues to move off to the northeast the cold front starts to approach the area we'll see some showers out ahead of that as well as that pushes through uh, early Friday into uh, the first, possibly the first part of Friday afternoon. That's when we could see some more uh, moderate showers moving through and maybe a very slight to slight chance of even, even an embedded thunderstorm as we uh, move through that time frame. If we look at the European model here starting on Friday morning, again, we see uh, a little slower with the cold front pushing through uh, by the time we get into the afternoon on uh, Friday. That's going to push most of the rain activity out of the area. Not a lot of cold air with this cold front, so not expecting a significant drop in the temperatures. The temperatures will still stay uh, well above average, but things will dry out. Can't rule out very slight chance of some preset Friday night into Saturday. If a little disturbance moves along that boundary, that boundary is expected to stall just southeast of the area. And then along that boundary, we'll see an area of low pressure develop over the Gulf Coast and begin tracking into the area as we get into the day on Saturday. Looking mainly dry through the day on Saturday until we get to the evening time frame as this area of low pressure approaches. We'll see uh, higher precip totals with this uh, second system moving through uh, some breezier winds as well as this moves through some more moderate rain showers uh, moving through with some breezier conditions as it tracks just over the area. We'll see that for the most part for the most part, start to uh, dwindle as we go into the day on Sunday with some lingering uh, shower chances possible as this upper level trough still influences the area. But we're going to see some more seasonable air moving in uh, with that upper level trough as it continues to push that area of low pressure out of the region. Uh, we'll see back to seasonable conditions as we get into Monday, still slightly breezy, and then we'll see things continue to clear up as we go into Tuesday as high pressure starts to build into the area. So if we look at the 24-hour weather risk chart for today, we're seeing green conditions as we move through the working hours of today, seeing those mild temperatures with a high around 57 degrees, about 10 degrees above average for this time of year. We'll see those winds out of the south around 7 to 12 knots and then picking up a bit as we get into the later part of the afternoon, around 9 to 14 knots, gusting up to 18 knots. And again, expecting mostly cloudy conditions, but uh, again, some breaks in the clouds as we go through uh, this morning and into the afternoon. And then going into the evening time frame, we'll see our low temperature early on around 49 degrees. 
and those clouds will start to build back into the area and temperatures slowly creeping up as we go through the morning hours. We pick up that very slight chance of a shower after midnight. We also see some misty conditions around, so pick up a yellow chance for those uh, reduced ceilings and visibilities. And as we go past the 4 a.m. time frame, we pick up a better chance of precip uh, moving through again, expecting um, light precip with this, so a light shower or sprinkle. So orange risk for our precip there. And then we keep that yellow risk for reduced ceilings and visibilities. Right now, the tides are looking normal. Going through today on Thursday, again, continue kind of on and off light precipitation moving through the area and uh, chance of some more moderate precipitation overnight into Friday morning out ahead of the cold front as it pushes through. We'll see some very warm temperatures for this time of year with our high temperatures in the low to mid 60s for our Thursday and Friday. Uh, we'll see some slightly breezy conditions as well. We keep Mostly cloudy conditions behind the precip on Friday and then going into Friday evening. Again, that very slight chance of seeing a uh, disturbance move along that stalled boundary, bringing some precip through, but a slight dip in the temperatures, but still unseasonably mild uh, as we get our low around 44 degrees on Saturday morning. And then going into our Saturday, we'll see a still mild high around 56 degrees, and we'll see mostly cloudy to maybe even partly cloudy conditions ahead of the next system moving through. Uh, Saturday night with a 70% chance of seeing that rain moving through the area again. Some slightly breezy conditions as well, particularly on Sunday as most of the rain starts to wrap up. Maybe some lingering showers around and, and breezy conditions, but uh, high once again in the low 50s. And then we start to see a return to more seasonable conditions as we start next week. We'll keep clouds and slightly breezy conditions around on Monday with a high around 46 degrees. And then as we go into Tuesday, we'll start off around 29 degrees and then see our high around 43 degrees with partly cloudy conditions. That's going to wrap up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow at 8.15 to 10 a.m. Enjoy the rest of your day.